Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to actually show you how to calculate the final stable transition matrix when we have an absorbing Markov chain. So here was the same matrix that we had in the previous video, where we break it up like this in quadrants. We then define it like I0 RQ matrix, and then the final stable transition matrix or the stable matrix, transition matrix, can be found by taking by ending up with something that looks like this, where F is what we call the fundamental matrix. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So first of all, we're going to take I minus Q. So I minus Q can be found by saying the I matrix, which is the 1, 1 across the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And we're going to subtract from that the Q matrix, which is this matrix right here, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. Now you say, well, why are we doing that? Well, eventually what we want to be able to do is take the initial state matrix, multiply it times the stable transition matrix to get the final stable state matrix. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find this, and you could put it like this, where, P, where N is a very large number, or simply write it like that, the stable transition matrix. So when we take the difference of those two matrices, we end up with 1 minus that, which is 0 0.4. 0 minus that is minus 0 0.2. Here we get minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. Okay, the next step is to take the inverse of that to find the fundamental matrix. So what is the inverse of a matrix? How do we do that? Well, the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is done like this. So the fundamental matrix, which is equal to i minus q to the minus 1 power, which is equal to 1 over the determinant times the matrix i minus q, where these two elements exchange position and those two elements are changed in sign. So if these are positive, you turn them negative. If they're negative, you turn them positive. All right, what is the determinant? Well, the determinant of a matrix can be found like this. The determinant of this matrix right here, because that's the matrix I minus Q, is equal to the product of these two elements right here. So it would be 0 0.4, 0 0.4 times 0 0.5, minus the product of those two elements, which is minus 0 0.2 times a minus 0 0.2. So this is equal to 0 0.2 minus, because minus times a minus is a plus, 0 0.04, so this is equal to 0 0.16. That's the determinant. So now we go over here. So this is equal to 1 over 0 0.16 times the same matrix, but with these elements interchange. Oh, I got to go over here. These two elements interchange, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and those two elements change signs. So this is 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Now finally, what needs to go in here is the product of the fundamental matrix times the R matrix. So here we have F times R, which is equal to 1 over 0 0.16, which is the determinant, times 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.4. And then we multiply that times the R matrix. And notice the R matrix right here is this matrix right here which is 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Now we're going to leave the 1 over 1, 0 0.16 on the left. We'll multiply that later. We're simply going to multiply this matrix here. So this ends up to 1 over 0 0.16 times, and we'll put a matrix. This times this will give us this element, and this row times this column will give us that element right there. So let's see what we get. So 0.5 times this is 0.1. And this times this is 0 0.06, that would be 0 0.16. And this row times this column, this gives us 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.04. And this is 0 0.12, this also gives us 0 0.16. Now we multiply this times this, this ends up being 1 and 1. Which is what we expected, but at least now you can see that we actually got that by calculating that matrix. Now you can see when we take this matrix right here, so P to the n power when n is very large. And of course, when n becomes very large, then we end up with a stable transition matrix. So this will be equal to the identity matrix, which of course here is 1, the 0 matrix, which is 0, 0, the f times r matrix right here, which is 1 and 1, and then the q sub n matrix, which we know by definition will be 0, 0, 0, 0. Again, a final check. 
the horizontal numbers must add up to 1, and the vertical numbers must, well, we don't care what they add up to, as long as the horizontal numbers add up to 1. And, just to check what this means again, these are the, the from states, and these are the to states. So we go from to means from A to A, 100% of customers in A go to A. From B to A, 100% of customers go from B to A. Now since in the end, B ends up with zero customers, that means no customers will be going to A. And from C to A, 100% of the C customers will go to A. But again, C will have no customers, so therefore none of the customers will go to A because there aren't any. And notice there's no transition between B and C and no transition from A to B or A to C, which means A will end up with 100% of all the customers. And that's how we find the absorb absorbing Markov chain final or stable transition matrix when we have this kind of form. And that's how we do that.